what's up guys, it's Blue Deck Sniper, and I'm doing a little quick update video on Die Tonight, of my town that I'm in, the Colonies of Die Dayan. It's 30 minutes before the attack is started, once the attack starts, the zombies will attack us, whatever, how much zombies, it, it depends. See right here, we have a range of 23 to 31 attacking us tonight, and our defense is 26, so we can hold against 26 zombies, so yeah. And I just want to, um... For day one, I just want to do another, like, I just want to show you guys what we have so it can be more accurate of how far we've achieved. Every uh, Die Tonight video that I'm going to be uploading is going to be probably within this time range between an hour of before the attack. So you guys can get a good understanding of where we stand in the world of Die Tonight. So, as of right now, I have 4 AP left. Because I'm going to use this on our defenses which I'm gonna show you guys real quick we have an active forum as soon as it loads see we have an active forum really good um, water we have 69 <laughs> we have 69 water rations remaining and um yeah what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to ration this out as long as possible so we can survive as long as possible our bank We've increased of what we have. We have 14 twisted wooden planks, four, four raw iron, two metal support, four patch um, beams, scrap metal, uh, rotting logs, tape, and nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts are really good later in the game. As of right now, we don't need them at all for now. But it's good to stock up on them. Batteries are good for like s devices, electrical devices, for small things. Now, rotting logs. Uh, I didn't cover. I didn't. I'm gonna try to cover more stuff of what I didn't cover in last video. Rotting logs and scrap metal could be um, converted into wrought iron and twisted planks with the workshop which we built. Actually, we finished it today. See, we have the wall. We need 11 more AP to finish it. Uh, workshop we did. What, what workshop is? You can convert this stuff over. See. Uh, rotting log could be converted into twisted planks, uh, scrap metal into wrought iron, uh, metal support into wrought iron, or the vice versa, wrought iron into metal support, patch, uh, sheet metal parts into sheet metal, sheet metal could be used as defense for defense points, every defense, um, item inside the bank gives us, I think, two defense points, so every one gives us against two zombies. So oh, it's really good. So if we have, let's see, three metal, sheet metal parts, so we could make three uh, sheet metal, which is six. No, well, I'm bad at math. Um, yeah, no, yeah, six. Uh, six sheet metal. I'm um, six zombie defense. Zombie. I don't fucking know defense points. Sorry. <laughs> um. So yeah, so that's really good. Converting over materials. There's an upgrade factory. It would let us. Instead of 3 AP, it causes 2 AP because it um, decreases the amount of AP for converting. And there's also a hacksaw that you could find inside the um, in the desert. This is what we've already um, discovered. The area. 25 minutes left till zombies. Have. This is what we discovered in the desert. You got people out here. Um, let's see. I don't know. For citizens, we've got all these fine people that are going to be dying with me over a period of time. And eventually, we all are going to die. Because the zombies are going to be too great for us to handle. But, we shall thrive until we die. So, we have 38 residents, one scavenger, and one survivalist. So, uh, right before the attack, we're going to close the gates. Uh, let's see, um, for the desert of when we scavenge, let's say I go out all the way this direction, which uses all my AP, and, uh, well, let's say, I just go one out there, and there is two zombies. Now, I could move along my day, be like, oh, two zombies, oh no, goodbye zombies, and I just walk away, because each zombie is one defense point, and each survivor is two. If there's three zombies and it's only one of survivor, that means you are outnumbered and you cannot move. You are, I guess, terrified or in a way. 
So you're just, you cannot move from that point. So what you gotta use the forum or whatever. And someone basically has to come rescue you. Or you could, you could choose to fight them, which doesn't work most of the time. And it uses one AP every time you try. And you're most likely gonna end up getting fucked over. That's why weapons come in handy. So if you, if you go, if later in the game, you go into an area of infested with zombies. It's always good to take a, a party with you, and um, a good amount of weapons so you could clear out zombies. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, and um, I also forgot to mention that um, oh, we got this. Uh, the word of the heroes. If you're a hero, you could make. After a perk, you could um chalkboard tell people what to do it's really handy for people that mindlessly go around and, um, almost every object that you get not object but a good amount of um, towers or buildings that you have built that your town has built every night you could vote to upgrade it right here all we have is the workshop and the watchtower I could click vote to pick what I want to um what I want to upgrade you could all discuss this in the forum, and the fuck. I think that was Uvu. Oh yeah, it is. So that's Sebastian from Blue Scare 2. Anyway, um, you could vote to upgrade. Uh, you discuss that with the forum to what to upgrade, and right now it's the Watchtower of what we have right now. No special bonus. Next level. Every morning, all zombies within three zones of the town are detected. So if you look at the um, the desert, the town gates. Uh, as soon as it loads, everything around the town with zombies, like that are close range basically within three zones, will you will automatically see them there. So you could plan ahead. So, say, um, right in this little section right here is like 10 zombies, and you don't know because of the watchtower, and you go that direction, you're basically fucked. And all the citizens have to come rescue you. 10 zombies a lot, and that's actually uh actual scenario late in the game that has happened in a couple of my games where. There's so many zombies, literally one block out of the town, so we were just fucked. Late in game. So, that's basically it, guys. I'm gonna do another video on our town in a couple of. Not a couple. Like, around this time zone, where it's at least a ha an hour before the attack. So, I can guys give you an accurate um, update of our town. So, thanks guys. If you like this video, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe. If you want to see more types of these videos on my channel, make sure to leave a comment. Um, yeah, it's Blue Next Sniper. Peace.